Perfect. 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 Hi, I am Dave and welcome to 4 to 4 Golf. I make golf videos out of Perth in Western Australia and sometimes further afield. The aim of the channel is to capture my progress from shouting for to having a four handicap, which I hope resonates with golfers of all levels. I release two videos per week and they could be course vlogs, they could be product reviews, practice tips, or even just general golf talk. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and then ring the bell to get notifications for all of the new videos. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be reviewing the premium features of the Hole 19 app. You have probably already seen the review that I have done of the Hole 19 iOS and Apple Watch scoring, etc. full review that I did, which I'll chuck a link up there in case you haven't seen it. Basically, when you upgrade to the premium version, it costs about $35 in Australia. And obviously, depending on your location, it might be a little bit different. And that is for a year subscription. So really not too bad for $3 a month for me. When you do upgrade to that, you get a whole heap of new features. Now I will be reviewing the features of the iOS version, which is basically everything. If you have an Android, there's a couple of features that I will let you know which ones are not available in that. So I'm gonna list them off first and then I will drill into them in a little bit more detail. So in this version, you get the ability to auto change holes, a distance tracker, watch scoring, match play, club recommendations, augmented reality, which is really quite cool, shot tracking, premium maps, the ability to make notes, a handicap simulator, club and overall statistics, which is again really quite helpful and then the standard stuff that you get within an app where you get no more ads you get a little bit priority support and you get some additional content via the skillist app so i did take this out onto the course it was windy as heck when i went out of there so i took a load of screen captures which to be fair probably make more sense for you to actually see what was going on while i was out there so one of the really cool features and i didn't cover it last time was you can actually start around using siri so if I go, hey Siri, start round. Siri will actually go, hey Siri, start round. She will actually run off and open the app itself and locate the nearest course to me based on GPS, presuming you're allowing Apple to know where you are. But then you would have to do that for the app to work anyway to put your tinfoil hats away. Once you're actually into the app itself, the only additional option that you will see from the premium, uh, the premium version versus the free version is the ability to select shot by shot. Now, this does take a little bit longer to actually input the shots into the app. However, Hole 19 are quite open about that. They say that it will take longer and don't recommend that for tournament play. And neither would I, to be perfectly honest, because it can be more time consuming, but in my opinion, the time you put into that is useful to you if you're just working within a practice round, etc. So once you're actually onto the tee box, once you're in the location you're gonna hit the ball from, you just hit the button that's down in the bottom left and that will give you then two options to either set the tee position or to use a default tee position. So that will be using GPS. Again, as accurate as GPS is, but how accurate does it really need to be for most of us? Once I've done that, it's kind of different to a lot of other apps that I've used where ordinarily at that point, you would be saying what club you were hitting. With this, what you do is you, all you do on the tee box is, is you, you select the tee position and then you walk up to your shot once you've hit it, wherever it is, middle of the fairway or other locations. And then you select both the club that you used and also what the lie is now. So in this example, uh, I'd hit driver, it was crazy windy. I mean, it was ridiculously windy. I've hit driver on this hole, I am on the fairway, but I've only hit it about 200 meters. And once I actually select that and say that it was in the fairway, it will show that after my first shot. What it will then do is it'll update based on standard information that you can input, but also over time it will develop from you using this, how far you actually hit the ball. So now it's saying that, this club will get me to the green, 
But again, I'm, I don't need to select it at this point, so I'm really just using that for a reference. And I can also just click on and zoom into the green, etc. Still use it on my watch if I want to and, and, and get all of that information for how far I've actually got left to the flag. So I would continue until I get to the green, pretty much then once I've selected whatever shot got me onto the green, the next option that it will give me is the little putter icon down the bottom. Now I do like this because it doesn't get in the way too much. Once I've selected that I'm on the green, I'm pretty much standing over the ball. I'll say, yeah, it was a 58 degree and it was on the green. Mark my ball. And if it's my go, I'll carry on and, and keep going. But otherwise, you know, it's not really getting in the way of, uh, uh, you know, or being any more time consuming than it should be. Once I've got the ball into the hole, all I do is select how many putts I had and then it will move on to the next hole. It will move on to the next hole automatically if I've selected that option. It is a turn off and turn on option as I'll show here. The other cool feature that exists within here is the augmented reality. Now this is an iOS only feature, unfortunately, Android folk. And I think that's because of the AR kit that the iOS uses. If you press that little blue box sort of thing, that will then open the camera and it will give an overlay of where the flag is, a general direction to the flag, but also some distances in that box that's alongside it. Now, I didn't find this to be perfect, but again, that could be down to GPS signal and so many other factors, but I can certainly see how that would be useful if you were blocked out and had no idea where the flag might be. I use this over the course of nine holes, once you've finished, you just hit finish round and then it will start to give you some of the feedback from the round overall. I actually realized that I'd made an error in the scoring where I'd forgot to put a couple of putts in on the 16th hole. So I just jumped back, made that correction. I didn't make birdie there, it was bogey. But then it will actually start to generate some of the, those statistics that I was saying. So you get the standard ones, fairways and greens and putts made and stuff like that. And the scorecard overall is quite easy to read and, and the ability to share that to social media if you wish to as well is all there immediately. Overall, the, the features that are in premium are quite useful. The fact that it will learn and it will continue to update depending on how much information you give it um, for each club, it will start giving you a, a range even of, of how far you do hit it, but also how far you typically hit it, which is something that all of us amateurs constantly overstate. Personally, I love using this app. I've tried quite a few over the years. I've tried Golf Shot. I've tried the My Round Pro. I, I, I've, I've dabbled with moving between all of them. But this is the one that I keep coming back to. So I think for, for some of the features in there, the community that it presents, like I haven't found a course that isn't in it yet. Um, so whereas My Round Pro for a long while didn't have the up-to-date course information for my course from five years ago. Overall, for the, the value, I think that this gives you some really good information. If you wanna just use it for scoring only, you can absolutely, you can have it as least invasive as you want. But if you do wanna really dive a little bit deeper and get some information on your real world actual numbers for how far you hit things, it's really quite useful. So I hope you did enjoy my honest review of the whole 19 premium features. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and ring the bell so you get notifications when new videos come out. Also, leave me a comment below. Are you already using an app of this type? Are you using Hole19? Let me know what you think of this. Would you change? And if you wouldn't, why not? That's all for this week, guys. I'll see you soon. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.